The time has come! Okay, I've been, I've, been, I've been waiting for this moment to happen for a while, but we're finally here. Uh, sorry, it's been a while since we played a classic game, hasn't it? I uh, let myself catch up on my the modern backlog a little bit, because I did play a lot of classic games for Halloween. Uh, it was like five games, I think. But uh, I have a little bit of a relationship with Ninja Gaiden that hasn't really come up on the channel yet, surprisingly. But playing the original Ninja Gaiden is my first memory of playing video games. Which, as you imagine, was the first two levels over and over again. I don't think I ever made it past that point, because I was a child that barely knew how to play video games. And would only later understand that I was playing just a distressingly hard game uh, back on the, on the Nintendo. And then, much later, uh, I played Ninja Gaiden on the Xbox. That's the, what we were looking at right here. And I also didn't beat it. <laughs> Uh, I got definitely further than I did as a kid on the original Ninja Gaiden, but it was a brutally hard game, and above all, my memories are haunted by these fucking ninja in a city somewhere that throw, like, exploding shurikens, and they're, it was just devastating. Like, I, just, I don't- I, th I feel like I got past that point or something, but it was that- that's the specific, like, horrible memory I have of Ninja Gaiden. Uh, as a game. I then, I then went on to play Ninja Gaiden 2 when it came out and beat it very quickly and very easily. And then I tried Ninja Gaiden 3 and it was so just... It felt so awful that I just got bored and stopped. Like, I think Ninja Gaiden 3 was just a, a terrible game. So, probably just gonna play this one. Probably not gonna really play the sequels, but... This is, uh, we, we pick different classic games for different reasons. Sometimes it's something that I missed the first time around and I want to see what the hype is. And sometimes it's a gem from my childhood or a grudge from my childhood. And that's what this is. This is along the lines of me having never beaten Perfect Dark on the hard difficulty and then doing it back with Andrew a few years ago on co-op or finally 100% finishing, uh, like finally finishing Jet Force Gemini and Starship, uh, Star Fox Adventures from my childhood, like that kind of shit. I'm gonna see if I can beat Ninja Gaiden Black. And if I'm real lucky, it'll be like Demon's Souls, where it's like I bounce off it, but then I come back to it like a year or two later, and then it's like, this is like one of the best games I've ever played, fuck yeah. I would love that. I would love to just have the best possible outcome. Total playtime? 18. Oh, 18, is it 18 minutes? Is that how long I've been on the title screen, maybe? It could be. Always pump up that voice volume. You want that shit to stand out. And then... There you go. Oh. Yeah. That should be fine, right? Video settings. <laughs> Whatever that means most of the time on this console. So I am playing this on my Xbox One, which... It's specifically, it's the, it's the port of the game that's, that's the originally in an Xbox game, and then that was ported to the Xbox 360 via the, the Classics Collection or whatever it's called, and then that version is also playable on the Xbox One and the Xbox One X, and so I'm here on my Xbox One, dusting it off, because that's, I only used to play Classics apparently, like I used it to play Jet Force Gemini and KOTOR and uh, Beyond Good and Evil. And here we are again. The evil dark dragon blade. A legendary sword said to have been carved out of the bones of a black dragon. It brought plague and death to the world during the age of ancient myth. It has been sealed by those of the dragon lineage since the dawn of history because of its incredible capacity for evil made possible by the souls of the vanquished black dragons that dwell within it. It is said that if the blade seal were to be broken, it would gather the hatred and evil of mankind and confer it upon the one who wields it, transforming him into the devil incarnate. However, not even those of the dragon lineage who protect it know the true extent of its power. The Dragon Sword, another weapon protected by the Dragon Lineage since ancient times. This sword, which is said to have been used by ancient warriors to slay the Black Dragons, 
is now handed down from generation to generation in the Hayabusa ninja clan, the modern descendants of the dragon lineage. And now, the dragon sword is gripped firmly in the hands of young ninja Ryu Hayabusa. The Book of the Fiends. The Dark Dragon, now full of evil intent, joined with Vigur and his spawn of evil deities to further capture the territory of the Gurdu. This conflict continued throughout the aeons of history, and during the struggle of the first spark of human life, appeared in the form of the ancient tribes. Of course, the old conflicts never cease, and then in the age of the ancient tribes and the dragon lineage, the evil deities continued their battles for tens of thousands of generations. A struggle that finally ended with the members of the dragon lineage were able to seal away the evil deities and their spawn, however, in the age of chaos and all the bloodlines of the ancient tribes that were mixed in, and the form of nature, nature of the ancients is carried one of us to the fiend. I didn't care. I didn't. The fiend, there's, it's the fiends. Okay. I didn't internalize any of that. I was just like, oh fuck, can I make it? <laughs> it started auto scrolling. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> Can't let me control the loading screen if it's just going to sit here. <laughs> it's really. It's scrolling really fast if you have to actually try to say it out loud at that speed. <laughs> Whatever. There's evil. There's swords and demons and ninjas. It's not that deep. You're gonna fucking press square to continue, but I press X to continue, but not let me read it at my own pace. I see how it is. Chapter one: The Way of the Ninja. In the mountains of autumn, there is one who walks the path of the ninja. Fuck that guy in particular. He just got smote. Ayane. We are. Alright, so I was also a really big fan of the Dead or Alive games. Uh, I started with De Dead or Alive 2 Hardcore. The ninja had, gave, uh, had gaping holes in his defenses. He never would have been able to survive in this world anyway. Wow, fuck him, huh? <laughs> Just massive fuck you to that guy. <laughs> oh, that's, that's a really nostalgic jumping sound. Oh yeah, doesn't he make that in Dead or Alive? I think he does. The same sound. I played Dead or Alive 2, 3, and 4, and I played 4 online so much that it firmly went in that territory where you're way too good at the game to play it with anybody that you know because you it's like actively difficult to even try to be take it easy on them. But then you're not good enough to actually to compete with the people that are really good at the game online. So you never quite feel like you're having the best experience anymore. The door to a sacred altar used to worship local deities. There doesn't seem to be any way to open it at this time. I definitely liked playing as Hayabusa in that game, but my favorite character was Christy. Like, by a pretty wide margin. But I remember growing up with these games and having, like, a sort of split between, uh... Like, when you, when you have siblings, you kind of, like, get your favorite characters that often contrast directly with each other. And so my brother's favorite character was Ayane, and sort of like, out of protest for a while, mine was Kasumi. Because Christy didn't exist originally. Yeah, there's nothing back here. A ninja must be able to find his way, even when his path is blocked. When facing an obstacle, jump towards it and run vertically up its side until you can grab its upper edge. Move to the left or right and climb up or drop down. That's goofy. Yeah, I played Dead or Alive 4 so much that I ended up listening to Aerosmith. Like, on the regular. Also the first place I ever heard the phrase, eat the rich, actually. At a very young age. Which I wouldn't get- I wouldn't fully contextualize for years. You must learn to be aware of your surroundings. The key to this ability lies with the right thumbstick. Acute powers of observation are one of the basic traits of a ninja. Use them now, and you should realize that you are able to climb over the rock wall that now stands in front of you. This is an interesting detail, which is just the fact that, uh... This is an exploration-driven game, to some ex at least to some extent. I, I, I think I remember being lost in it and stuff. Which is not what you, the, well, not what you expect on the box. That appeals to me. Camera might be a bit of a struggle 
for some of this, but we'll see. Because if it's... It is an older game. And they had more learning to do. So we're playing Ninja Guide in black. Hello. Wow, there are gaping holes in his defense. <laughs> and his organs. Oh yeah, no. So X's are rapid attacks. Oh yeah, Y is a charge up. Ooh, big charge up eventually. Yeah, and you specifically have this... Oh my god, it's coming back to me. If you press backwards and Y, you launch into the air. And oh, and do that. Because this, this is normal Y. Is there a forward Y? There is a forward Y. I believe. Yeah, that's forward Y. So I guess this is just a direction with Y, not backwards specifically. But if you tap a direction first, you launch, and if you press it on its own, you plant your feet and do a charge attack. Yeah, those, those forking combos. Do not underestimate the agility that your training has given you. Feats such as running along walls should be simple for you to perform. If you cannot reach your destination with a single leap, make use of the surrounding walls. Not what I would expect her to sound like. Sup? One of your most useful techniques is the flying bird flip. Jump towards a wall and run up it, then jump off again. This allows you to travel to areas that... Okay, it's, it's triangle, triangle jumping, or whatever it's called. It's a decent implementation of tutorial in that it's very, it just very casually just kind of gets added there. It's eye-catching, there's an audio cue, so you're like, oh shit, there's an Ayane tutorial. But if you don't want it, you literally just leave. <laughs> you just keep walking, and it doesn't interrupt you at all. That you're not at all required to read them. And they're fully skippable once you do. There's the, there's the kunai. The shuriken. That's B. You do them in the air, too. Oh, full on pot stock sound. Okay. Sup? Definitely getting Onimusha flashbacks a little bit. Just it's not just the uh, the setting and all that, but just like specifically like it has those like I mean it is very much the setting to some extent, but it's like when you get those really fixed camera angles, and it's from the same console generation. But it taps into a little bit of the, that nostalgia. Right, I did cover an Onimusha. That was on the yeah. I like having a classic slot. Going through and, ch and uh, getting through my list. Onimusha was another one of those revenge games where it's like, this has been in my childhood, but I never beat it, and I need to beat it. I never beat games as a kid. What's up? How you doing? Ah, that's not the that's not the traditional greeting. There you go. So I need to go. Oh shit! Just go. <laughs> I'm just going places. I have a lot more to figure out about how to actually control my character. Definitely feels like they made a choice here. So right stick puts you in first person. Just moving it. Ooh. Don't know what that does. You definitely find yourself wishing that you could just click it or something to do that or press some other button. Because instinctively you definitely want to be able to turn your camera. And you can't. I just did. I just. Oh! Wow. That worked out. Okay. This is gonna bother me though. Okay. Mmm. 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 There, is there a settings menu? Uh, I don't think there's a. I don't think there's a settings menu. I think it's too late. All right, well, I'm just gonna have to deal with this. So they inverted X and Y, which nobody ever really wants, I don't think. We got a map. Yeah, I guess cl clicking this actually switches between the stick being first person and the stick being third person. So you can control the camera. That's good. 
But I'm gonna have to get used to it working the opposite of how I mean for it to. This room's way nicer. Here we go. Ooh, I dashed. I need to get the controls down and learn my combos. Like any of them. Ow, shit. Okay, there has to be a block. Let's see. Okay, nope. Oh, right. I think right trigger tries to center the camera behind you. Oh, right bumper is map? Why? Oh, left bumper is that. Why was that worth having a button dedicated to it? Okay, left trigger. It's Smash Brothers rules. Uh, left trigger plus direction is dodge. Left trigger, uh, plant, feet planted is block. There we go. Ow. I'm like, this is way too many enemies. I have to be able to defend myself. Okay, we're good. Right, so we're playing this. We're playing Ninja Gaiden Black specifically because I tried to research this and it seems to be a massive consensus that this is the best version of the game. To the point where I couldn't... It was such a consistent takeaway that I could not dismiss it as being fanboys of consoles. A suit of armor of the type that is often used for ceremonies. It is not something that a ninja would wear. A part of its faceplate is missing. It appears to be holding something. Hmm, so I need to finish the faceplate to get the key? Ooh, hello. Yeah, very, very consistently people recommend Black, above all else, as being the best version of the game. While well, Ninja Gaiden Sigma is, a, is evidently the worst part of the game, and it's like... There's such a consensus that it seems to be... Not just Xbox fanboys saying that, that their console's better. Because <laughs> Sigma was PS3 exclusive and Black was Xbox exclusive. After the original, I think, I, I think Xbox exclusive... Launch? I think it was this game. I think and I think I think the original and Black were both on Xbox original and then Sigma was PS3, but something seems to be wrong with it. Which is unfortunate. You definitely would hope that the new one would be the best one. Oh, that's a, oh, that's a satisfying one. The triple kick. But yeah, so far I think we've covered basically no Team Ninja games on this channel, besides, uh... Oop. There we go. Besides Neo. Which is not my favorite Souls-like. For me, there's just something so clean about the Souls-like setup. And I didn't really see how having 75 stances and combos complemented that combat system. It definitely felt like you were trying to go for style points just for the sake of it, as opposed to specifically having justifications for every combo like I would hope there for to be. To be like, why would I want to use this exactly? Lives of the Thousand Gods. Like, especially during boss fights, all that mattered was whether I was hitting the enemy or not, and whether I was dodging and blocking effectively. I didn't... Combos felt superfluous. Oh boy. That went very poorly. Okay, we are taking hits. No more bonus dudes, please. Oh shit. I blocked it. Oh god. All right, it's getting it's getting crowded in here. Okay. <laughs> Not great news for me. This white ninja is a problem. Yeah. There we go. Decapitated. Ah, there's more. Wait. Oh. I'm here. I'm here now. Apparently. This will- this is definitely pretty much a blind playthrough. Uh... 
I have vague flashes of memory of some shit that might happen later. Oh, what? <laughs> but like, obviously, I don't. I'm not sitting here like having the, the layouts memorized or anything. Even the bats are after me. This just seems vindictive. Dude, that health bar does not go far. I think we've covered the ins and the outs around here. Oh! Why are y'all so mad at me? Fangs of the Samurai. Yeah, I guess the spirit orbs flying at me also make me think a lot about the, uh, about Onimusha. And I would have, and I would have played them around the same time. Whoop. Some ledges or platforms above you can be reached simply by jumping towards them and running straight up. The path of the. Okay, so it's just you can run. So you can do the thing I just did. <laughs> Honestly, that seemed like it would have should have come up before half the platforming stuff I did earlier. <laughs> I will kick you up these stairs. Not really a stair, but you know. So I am I'm burning through my healing items. Hopefully I can stop doing that. Talisman of Rebirth, that's uh, extra attempt, right? Yeah, like the revive item in Devil May Cry. Oh, uh, that's the yeah, that's the fangs for the suit. Lives of a thousand gods. Uh, raises my maximum health limit instantly. Uh, I should have used that immediately. Uh, I'll use it when I'm low on health, just in case it heals me. Does not want me to fall off. There we go. You. Stop being alive! There we go. Just need to hard focus that guy. Where is he? Uh, not gonna lie, the camera angles are not especially ideal during combat. Just, just, just knowing that that ninja can jump up into the air and appear from up, up above me. Is that just an infinite enemy's screen? There's a message engraved on the tablet in the dragon's mouth. The sacred underground paths of the dragon to record all that occurs in the world of men. We have not forgotten those who live on the surface of the earth. Ah. Right. Saving. If I haven't saved, then I, dying sends me all the way back. So, keep that in mind. This is gonna be one of those playthroughs. I think there's infinite enemies in this room. I'm just gonna leave. Let's try to get back to... That armor, which should be back this way. The Fangs of the Samurai. You got the thing! The Key of Courage. An ancient key sculpted to appear as though it were made of bone, it opens the door to the Inner Sanctum. Probably mandatory to continue, and not a secret. Step around the trapdoor. It's like scientifically designed for you to get to fall into it. Especially when you don't know it's there. Like you're just fighting in that room. Oh, too white. That's a very that's a pretty forgiving uh, block. They probably can overpower it at some point. But I'm noticing that it, it uh. It seems to even block attacks from behind. The last one said you were leaving me for now. While in a blocking stance, tilt the left thumbstick to roll your body. This is called the You expect me to get this far without knowing that? How? Oh, okay, I needed the key to get here. How did you expect me to defeat all that stuff without knowing how to block and roll? Did you even teach me how to block? I don't remember if they taught me how to block. I think that's my running attack. Oh, combo. Oop. 
There's so many of you. Why are there so many of you? Whew. We get there. <laughs> we get there. Alright, I'm not even doing the worst on health. I think some of the orbs they send me heal me send at me heal me though. Send at me? Or the orbs they release. Uh I'm almost certainly healing. I think I took some damage. Brad Wong? I see you have made it this far. Y'all took the time to model bicep veins in like 2003? Oh shit. Oh, it's- oh, it's got locked on camera. This will be a little bit of a trip. Oh, yeah, he grabs. Oh yeah, no, we're, we're, we're doing TOA now. The full fucking experience. Oops. Oh, he bounces them back. Get away. He can't, he can't block around him. Get in trouble fast. Ooh! Nope. Ooh, boy. Okay, not that locked onto him, though. My attacks don't lock on. Get out. Ooh, damage go fast. Damage go very fast. But I love I love that about Dead or Alive is that there's multiple layers of rock, paper, scissors happening in those fighting games where one, like, attacks can be countered by anticipating the attack and doing the correct counter, which is devastating. But they can also be blocked, which is sa much safer because it's just the choice of high and low as opposed to high, medium, low. And and also specifically medium being split into kick and punch, which is just so much. You have to predict exactly what they're doing, basically. But uh, if you block, that's passiveness. And passiveness is punished. Passiveness is punched by grabs. And grabs will fuck you up. And here we are. If you if I block in front of this guy, I get grabbed. You can see the the Team Ninja shit happening across their multiple games. But yeah, it's it's scary to be stuck near him for too long. Nope. Yep. Charging an attack is also dangerous. I'm not quite doing what I mean to do. I'm fucking up. A lot. Oh yeah, let's try the Life of the Thousand. I forgot about this. Do you heal me? No, of course not. Okay. This guy's doing some damage to me. Pot? There is a pot over there. Yeah, I meant I meant to throw that out the pot, but that was a silly thing to expect to work. Sup? Hey! Yeah, when, when he's attacking, you can counter. Aggress aggression is definitely rewarded. Ah, the dragon sword. So your father is still in the sacred wilderness. Yes. He has entrusted me with the sword while he continues his training. He never seems satisfied with the power he wields. Someday you will come to understand the pursuit of power. Perhaps beginning with your training here. And what of the sister blade, the dark dragon? Has he left you in charge of protecting it as well? It remains in the village under the protection of my father's clan. They will ensure that the sword remains untouched. Its dark power sealed. It is a shame that such a sword must go untouched, such power unused. Alas, I am not of the dragon lineage. The sword is not of my concern. <laughs> Mr. 
Master Murai, the Hayabusa village. Mastered you. Not gonna lie, that cutscene and her approach kind of make it feel like it's contradictory that sh those shurikens, th those kunai were uh, from her, even though they seemingly were. They had her trademark color and everything. Lesser ninja, you useless bitch. The Hayabusa ninja village. The village is burning. Before long, Ryu hears the screams of his brethren. God, do you do you even get uh I don't I actually don't remember do, but I don't think it does like I don't think it lets you save like when a mission transitions so I think I think I remember there being a thing where you can die and it can send you into a previous mission and you have to rebeat this guy if you die after him if it if you haven't saved after or something I could be wrong There is no time go now and protect your people So this is confusing but I think what happened here is that that was a training mission. Like, those are people... <laughs> That's distressing, right? Because I'm pretty sure I killed the fuck out of them. Several of them were decapitated. But, like, this guy's chill. It definitely seems like it's implied that these are people I'm... I'm like, this is a training mission for me. Which, like, what is that? If that is what's happening, like, what is this level of, like, fucking protagonist syndrome going on here? Where, like, dozens of people can- or it's okay for, like, dozens of people to die for my, like, my- just a day of training for me or something. Or I had to prove I could go talk to that guy for three seconds by murdering everyone that- under him. <laughs> but I'm thinking maybe we shouldn't think about it too hard considering some of the shit that I know is going to happen. I think falling in the holes might be counterproductive, but I don't actually know for sure. I would I would end up beating Dead or, uh, Devil May Cry 4 not too long after this, and that game also had a case of like, oh, they want like environmental continuity between levels. That's interesting. That's a choice you can make. It does lead to weird levels that are kind of full of like backtracking through old areas and not being sure if you're going the wrong, the right way or not. You start to wonder like, why is all of this in the level? Am I even go like, am I go, am I even going the right way? Genuine question. They leave it pretty open. It's like, yo, Hayabusa, save your village. Okay. Oh, that's... Is that more corpses than before? No. But yeah, they're like, he wouldn't have survived out in the world anyway. As it's, as, so apparently that's like why it's okay to kill the shit out of him here. Oh, hang on a minute. Alright, get up. To Hayabusa Village. Next. I actually don't know if I remember if I understand the map still. And <laughs> go through here? No. Oh, yeah, no, it's the door behind here. I was going the right way. Oops. The right way. This door is Hayabusa Village. That's what I'm looking at on the map. The art of the fire wheels. Fire wheels go brr. I've got my, my, my first Ninpo, I think. Aha! He did hide something here. I 
how do I ninpo? Selected. Allows Ryu to control the spiritual wave forms around him to create fire wheels that circle him. Are controls mentioned in I don't think I think there's still no Call settings the menu. Stamps. Stop. It's archives. Oop, that's me pressing the Xbox button. Yeah, I don't think there's anything to press that will open a settings menu. Or a list of controls. Right trigger centers the, the camera behind me. Oop, wall running. I don't think they want me to run up these walls. No. They're curved, I think. Whoa, big jump. Yeah, don't press A again. Let's try this. There you go. Smoke bomb. Oh god! Hello, hi. <laughs> wow, no no introduction for you guys. They're like, oh, it's us, the guy's burning your village. This <laughs> is literally like, oh, fuck! It begins. Ah. Not big on fair fights, are you? Ah, is there any kind of counter? Okay, one down. Now you guys are fucked. Oh! I gotta get my hand off that joystick sometimes. Let my, let my character plant his feet more. There you go. Improved to some extent. There's a, there's a really big emphasis on whether or not you're holding the stick in any direction in a given moment. That completely changes whether you're going to do one thing or the other. Between the block and dodge and so on. It's not... It's not the um, Smash Brothers thing. Where uh, you have to deliberately block, then roll. If you're, if you're pressing a direction when you press block, you immediately roll. Without having to, like, really start pressing the block at the same time or anything. Oh, this is a weird... Oh. Here's those swimming controls. You just hold A. You just hold A and you steer. And in their case, right is right and left is left. But for my, for my other camera, right is left and left is right. There you go. Oh, that was a bad time to put your sword away. Oh, that's a magic boy. That's a boy whom's magics. Ow. Ow. Oh, God! Oh. God, we're okay, so he just appears. That guy's a dick. <laughs> Please don't kill me. Uh th th that button, okay. Not 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 kicking ass so far. <laughs> not at my best. Ooh. Ah! Fuck you, I'm tired of your shit. You don't even have a sword, you can't block anything. There you go. Ah, oh, there it is, the blue orbs of the heels. And we are thankful for them every time they appear. Up, maybe? I have choices. Amplify Abusa Village. You'd think he'd have his own, <laughs> given the name. Like, it's not just his home village, it's the one that literally shares his name. Jump in? Hope for the best? Okay. Not the kind of game that you would go straight to thinking would have of, uh, swimming controls. Yeah, that's the obvious way forward. This platform exists for some reason. Presumably. 
Oh, shit. You're fighting me a little bit, game. All right. There you go. Is this just a way back up? Ah, uh, I wanted secrets. I wanted to be rewarded disproportionately for my mild curiosity. Run towards the water, and as you reach it, press the jump button repeatedly. This what? Oh, dang it. That sounds hard. Is the A button's also your dive button. Okay. Heck. Oh my god, look at me go. Oh. That is hard. That is hard to use. Especially when it's struggle. It's a bit of a struggle to, to line up where you're going in advance. Ah, shit. Yeah, that's a struggle. <gasps> An item! Uh, can I only get there by doing the thing? Oh, I can't even steer. I don't think I can even steer. You have to line up your character perfectly, basically. Yes! Nope. Life of the gods. Jewel that shines bright blue. Reuse health limit can be increased by using nine. Oh. Bing. That's gonna take way longer. <laughs> so they. Uh, wait, wasn't it called the thing of the nine gods? Hey, I did it again. I think the other thing was called the talisman of the nine gods. So otherwise, you have to get all nine gods yourself. That's gonna take a while. But obviously in a game like this, uh, every health increase is cherished greatly. I have no idea how long this game is. And now we fight a flaming... horseman with a... halberd. A fallen member of the Hayabusa clan, he took his last breath here, lying amongst the burnt remains of his home. He held something in his outstretched hands. It's not really burned, honestly. Everything else is pretty true, though. He's definitely dead. <laughs> what game was that? You go into a village like this, then suddenly flaming... Ah, <gasps> oh, it's the first It's the first boss of, De of Devil May Cry 4, isn't it? Fucking love that game. It is a Jizo statue, a guardian deity of children and protector of the village. Its head is missing. In order to widen the crack here, a very strong impact with a heavy, blunt object is necessary. Big hammer or something? Thinks. Uh, oh shit! God, you guys just arrived! <laughs> You're like a jump scared dude. God, there's so many! Help! Oops. Oop, that was a death sound. You're in trouble now! You're running out of friends! Oh, that's my, I think that's like my ideal combo at the moment. What are you guys spawning? What, what, there must always be three? Oh, I lost the orb. I'm sad. Time zero? Oh. Oh, the time counts down. It's a time limit before you can get like the, uh, the par time or something, maybe? There you go. They, they seem to struggle against vertical attacks. Oh, he's dead. Not setting that one in. I think if you charge your attack and a bunch of orbs come into you, you do a super attack. Or I'm thinking of or an Onimusha. <laughs> it's hard to tell for sometimes. 
But yeah, I think I've covered Devil May Cry 1, 4, and 5 on here. I originally wanted to, I originally ambitiously wanted to cover it all in parallel, the whole series in parallel with uh, Resident Evil. I've made more progress on that one. But I just have to cover 2 and 3, right? Like, I don't have, I don't have that much left to do. The Lunar. I think I liked this one. I always liked quarter staffs as a kid. They're all the same level. Oh yeah, there's there's a bunch of leveling systems in here. Fiend's Bane Kick. XX forward XX. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, there it is. Wow, that's interesting. It's I keep messing up at doing it on purpose, the kick part. Now that, now that I know how it works, but I was doing it like automatically earlier without really knowing for sure exactly how to do it. I knew it didn't always work, but I was getting it really consistently at some point. And, and now that I see how to do it, I'm like, I, have, I actually have to like think about it a little bit and it messes me up a little bit. But anyway, the new weapon, the Lunar. Let's see. A Japanese sword handed down in the, the Hayabusa ninja clan that is carved out of the fang of a dragon. A staff that is said to harbor the mysterious power of the moon, crafted from the strong branch of a willow tree. Yeah, at one point I, I thought I was going to go back and also play all three campaigns of Devil May Cry 4, which is a game I like a lot, because they, they added uh, three new playable characters. Two that share a campaign, like Dante and Nero do, and then the other one is Brother. Stone Circle made in ancient times. Now it is si simply a silent gathering of rocks. Does it come with a monkey tail? That's a really big, flashy. Whoa! Oh god, it feels so good. The the, the, the combos are so flashy. Statue head. I really like these kinds of weapons. XXY, XY, hold down Y a lot with essence, then at maximum essence. That, I think that is the, the charge up attack with the orbs going into you, which I think also is Nonimusha. I think they just both have that. Was that forward XY? It's forward Y, forward XY. Running. Oh. oh! Okay, I need to back away from this table. I keep bumping the right bumper against the desk. <laughs> that's that's the running Y attack. That's one button press. Ah. Uh. Can you tell I liked Gambit as a kid? Speaking of Gambit. <laughs> Speaking of Gambit. It's, it's not that far off. Okay, so that's the obvious way forward. Is this a closed door? Am I going to find out I can't use this door? Uh, it's not interactive. You won't climb that? Okay, so yeah, we're, we're just going... Ooh! Another of the Hayabusa brethren slain by the invading enemy forces. His inability to protect his village must be haunting him even in the afterlife. Don't worry, bro. Maybe literally. I don't know how. Oh. A dark samurai clad in black armor. Master, you do not attempt to fight it. What is it? Is it her dad from Dead or Alive 3? No. Two? No, three? Three. Yeah, Tengu was two. And then four was Alpha. I've played these games on purpose. They're sh for their story. Please, hurry. I think we have to drop. 
Yeah. I don't think he'll, they'll let me climb over that. No. It's a little merchant. Oh, can I buy the a statue of a diligent old man Miramasa, a legendary blacksmith. There are folk tales of people who have approached the statue and walked away with various items and weapons. He's the shop. It's a non non person shop. Replenishes Ryo's key. So there's, that's how I use more. Uh, what you call? Uh, kin, kinpu? Nin, ninpu? Ninpu. These are expensive. I can't afford one strong healing item. Holy crap. So I can refill currencies. I can get a wooden sword for some reason. Sword made of woods used mainly to practice sword fighting attacks, and it's incapable of cutting attacks. Is this like a funny practice weapon for hard mode, basically? When equipped, reuse attack power will increase and defensive power will increase. Those are definitely tempting. Only 5k, also. Art of the Inferno? Shoot a fireball out of me, and it only costs 1,000. Blacksmith, Dragon Sword, and the Lunar. Out of materials? Ah, uh, they won't let me do these things. Hmm. Ah. Oh, sorry. I must have fallen asleep. Blacksmithing takes a lot away from you, especially at my age. I'm afraid there's nothing I can do to turn to turn back time. <sighs> Recently, there's been a shortage of good materials with which to make weapons. <sighs> oh, the inflation in this city. At this rate, I'll lose even more customers. But for me, I guess this is just about right. No need to be too busy at my age. That is what I always say. I sell products, uh, good products for cheap. Why they would cost you an arm and leg anywhere else. Uh, but by the time you get to be my age, you too will see that there is more in life to be gained than money. Hmm. Oh, the inflation. That's a really expensive. Those are fairly cheap considering how strong the healing item that actually is at the moment. It's by Inferno. It's just like a permanent upgrade and that you get a new ability. And uh, I don't know. I'll give myself a couple healing items. I don't want to I don't really want to buy healing items cuz I want to get upgrades later, but I'm all, I also I'm a little worried that I might get obliterated by the boss fight. The last boss fight I fought wasn't even trying to kill me, although he would have Don't don't mistake that. He definitely would have killed me. Despite the seeming practice context. Oh, shit. I didn't even see that other item. I saw the, the blue one. Oh, shit. Is he on a horse? Is he the one on the horse? I think I do remember this. Haha, <laughs> fuck you! Ow, 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 ow. Rude. Oh, boy! Ow, shit, god. Let's keep me going better. Okay. Ninpo, yeah. I feel like I should save it for the boss fight at least. I don't know how often it re re replenishes. Uh huh. God, I tried to dodge it too, but he made me block. God damn, I'm trying to catch the spellcaster and it's really hard. Fuck! This is hard. I'm not making much progress right now. <sighs> okay, let's switch back to the one that I know. Ah! Shit, shit. Shit, shit. There we go. Okay, so the D-pad the and the joystick and the triggers all change tabs, I think. Which is messing with me. Smoke bombs are limited and arrows are limited. But the shuriken are not. Fuck you! Get away, I'm trying to kill that guy. Oh, I, I didn't kill him. No, I didn't kill him. 
<laughs> or it's a new one? Another of Ryu's comrades. The poor soul has been shot through with arrows. Although the thought of disturbing the dead body is unpleasant, some of the arrows seem still usable. Wow, we're in the middle of something right now, Ryu. <laughs> Dude, in the middle- I'm fighting right now, dick! Why is he dodging? Stop dodging! Oh. How fucking... how many arrows are in this guy? It just said that some more of them are usable. They're just- that he just- I just can't carry anymore. And I'm like, excuse me? I guess I have maximum arrows? How many is that? Fifteen. Okay. Interesting. So I can- so... I can loot more arrows, I just can't carry them. Yet another familiar face. How many of Hayabusa clan have been slain? It's really distressing that he has like an entire shop's worth of arrows inside of him. They clearly aren't sparing any expense in the wiping out of Hayabusa village. I think I came from that door. Oh. Oh. Horses were the right instinct. Oh god. Okay. Oh fuck. Ah! This seems unfair. Okay, yeah, this seems like the time. Oh god. Uh, do I have to? <laughs> Can I see target? <laughs> Hi. Shit. <laughs> yeah, that's good. He's still alive though, isn't he? Let's fix that. There we go. Okay, no, I, I could, if I tap it, he aims it. I'm like, you can't be, you gotta be kidding me. Jeez! Okay, I really wish it would stop doing that. You really have to plant your feet and not be pressing anything, or it goes into first person because it thinks you're trying to aim. And not gonna lie, that seems like something you wouldn't do in such a dangerous situation as much, so they might as well err on the side of caution and not put you in first person so, so easily. Okay. This game is doing some damage to me. Ooh, I went after him. Ooh. Am I even aiming at them? I can't tell. I'm just kind of hoping he's auto-aiming at them because I can't tell. But I, I want them to die. That wasn't where you swung. Oh shit. This is hard. I don't think it's aiming at them at all. I think that's trust falsely given. You can at least look at where I'm aiming if I hold it that long. Alright. Come on, you dick. Shoot at me, but like only when I'm dodging. <laughs> Aha! You fool. Shit. God damn! Arrows are really hard to use. There we go. Healing orb, please? Nope. But now the fire died out, coincidentally, of course. Huh, no! Why don't they just home in on me? <laughs> I think it's because you're supposed to do this. 
or this. I think that helps. Wait, that's rough. It's rough when I see one disappear, because I think that's the currency I use to buy things. Save point. You don't heal me, though, do you? Of course not. That'd be too easy if save points healed you. Alright, well, what? Oh. Yet another slain ninja, lying face down in front of the bridge leading to the heart of the village. If the enemy forces have gotten this far, he holds something in his outstretched hand. Got a great elixir. Hmm. The grave, the graveyard. But there's also the bridge back down there. Gotta make my mind up. But we're far enough in. Alright, guys, settle in for the long haul. I'll see you next time.